Bill Richardson is a former U.S. ambassador to the United Nations and has visited North Korea multiple times over the past two decades. More recently, in 2013, he went with a delegation of business leaders and sought the release of Kenneth Bay, an American convicted of trying to overthrow the North Korean government. Richardson's attempt wasn't successful, but Bay was released the next year. Please, you need to and there's Otto Warmbier, a University of Virginia student sentenced to 15 years in a North Korean prison after confessing to stealing a propaganda banner from a hotel. Well, I am trying to get him back. Um, I've been in touch with the North Koreans. Richardson began the talks in March at the request of Ohio Governor John Kasich. You know, I've had some success in getting people out of prisons like North Korea, but this may take a little longer, but I'm working on it. The former New Mexico governor believes North Korea is now using Americans as bargaining chips. We don't know much about Kim Jong-un. We don't know what makes him tick. We know he's hostile. As Richardson works to get warm buyer out, he has some advice for New Mexicans. Richardson is a seasoned negotiator and has some advice on how you can be one too. You can find common ground. For that, you have to respect the other side's culture. In a tough talk, Richardson says it's okay to get personal. Tell me about your family. Tell, what, I hear you were a good baseball or soccer player. And a laugh can ease tension. He's done it before with some of the world's so-called baddest guys. I, I use morbid sense of humor, like, all right, now, they say you torture people. Where do you take, where do you take of the torture, the fingernails? Where do you take people's fingernails? They look at you and, you know, you're gabbling. Yeah. But then if, if they feel comfortable. Richardson says they open up. These are techniques practiced in tense situations around the world and could help at your dinner table or office. In Santa Fe, I'm Royal Day, KOAT, Action 7 News.